us. Today is a very nice day. We are going to the dojo <laughs> and I am going to wear my new karate gi ku for the first time. I wonder how it will be like and after training I am going to tell you everything about it. See you later. Sam. Ishi. Go. Lo. Shich. Ha. Shich. Ha. Ku. Ku. Go. Shich. Shich. Well, what can I say? I loved it. Ku is nice and comfortable to wear, especially on a hot day like this. The karate gi is very light, but keeps its shape well, and it stays where it is supposed to stay. It doesn't move around when you make rotational movements, for example with the hips. The karate gi didn't obstruct me at all. I could easily do my punches and kicks and kneel down without tugging the dogi into place first. Ku also didn't stick to my skin. Thanks to its material composition, it is made of a poly cotton mix, it is very durable. To gain more durability is the main reason why the material has been changed a little while ago. Before, Ku has been made of 100% cotton and that has been the material of my choice since I usually prefer natural fibers, until now. I honestly prefer the new Ku because in my opinion it is nicer to wear. It is also easier to look after the dogi because it is not necessary to iron it and it also dries quickly. After the next washing, I will stop the time and let you know how long it takes. Another positive thing to mention is that after having packed your Ku, you will still have a lot of space in your bag. Ku is only available custom made, which means you can determine each measurement according to your wishes. And you can order it either with normal or with high waist. How did I find the right measurements for my Ku? I measured the karate gi I had and made some adjustments wherever necessary. In my opinion, that's the best way to do it because otherwise you have to use your imagination a lot and it is so much better to put something on, to feel it and to visualize it. If you don't have a karate gi, you can also measure your body. We have a video on that topic too. I will write down the link below in the video description portion. You can check it out later. Please add some extra centimeters in case the dogi shrinks with the time. Ku will probably shrink less than a dogi made of pure cotton and more in vertical direction than in horizontal direction. That is if you don't wash your dogi with high temperatures and avoid using a tumble dryer. Please avoid using bleach or aggressive washing detergents since they may damage the material. I would recommend to wash the dogi with a very low temperature first and then increase it to a maximum of 40 degrees. Speaking of which, this dogi needs a washing now after this intense class and I'm going to take it home now. If you have any question, please leave a comment and you can also tell me your wishes for the next videos. 
I'm looking forward to hearing from you and I say bye bye for now. Us.